Hello everybody, here is another quick video for you about my tech bag. This year I am going to be using the Konkin 13 litre laptop bag. So it has a compartment here at the front, a main compartment and of course the laptop sleeve at the back here. So as with my solo bum bag, I am going to pack this area by area and I'm going to start with the front because I've got basically nothing in it. So in the front here I'm going to put a few lens wipes for my glasses and a couple of instant coffees. Now that packs, that's all that's going in it. Next the main compartment here. A large slip here at the back but that normally has a seat pad in it, which I have taken out. So I've just going to be putting my bag of important papers in the bag, in there, out of the way. Next, I have got a drinks bottle container, which goes on the outside. So next into the bag, is my electronics. So I'm going to move this out of the way over here and bring this forward. This is all my cables in here. I will very quickly walk you through what's in here. Starting off here, we've got the second pet um, thing for my Apple AirPods, which if you've seen my bum bag vlog, you will see that in a little bit more detail. I've got an old D charging cable and a pair of small wired in-ear earpods um earpods earphones which to be honest i've not used for ages in here i also have my sony over the ears cable and i have a little twisty tie as well but for the flight i'll take this out and put it in my bum bag but normally it travels in here to keep it safe I then have an extra battery for my GoPro and a one meter or 1.5 meter uh, Apple iPhone, the lightning cords there. Here I have two cables which are C to C. I think one is C to C and one is the USB to C. One has is a dual one and the other one is a single one like this. This is a C to C as well because I use my um, SSDs and sometimes I like to transfer from one to the other. So that's why I've got so many of those. I'll come back to those in a minute. I also have a SD card reader as well with a little connector on the end for my Apple computer over here I have a dual charger for my GoPro batteries I have a USB toothbrush charger again I got that from Amazon here I have one two three SSDs to keep all of my footage from my NAM with a backpack on. I've got two one terabyte and one two terabyte. And I also have an SD card holder. So those all quite nicely fit in there. Nice and safe. Zip those up. Now, a lot of travelers will tell you that they travel with an extension cord. It was too heavy. I decided I didn't want to travel with it. So I have got, for my Apple Watch, I've got a two meter Apple Watch cable and I have got a three meter lightning cord for my, um, and a three meter cord for my phone, which is the iPhone 12 Pro. I'm also looking into getting a three meter USB-C cord as well which I will put in that spare one there but for now I don't have it so I just put those in that is the only cables that I'm taking I realize a lot of people won't need that many but 
that works for me. And the little case again, it's just the little skinny one from Amazons. I will link this down below. But again, this works for me. In that goes. I've also got two little face masks for the flight. It's a 13 hour flight. So I've put two in there because it could be very drying. I'll put those in the back there with my papers. I also put my, um, is it an RAD or R, the blocking wallet that will go just in the top there. In this little pouch here, I have got my computer brick with the end on for um, the USA, but this fits in a lot of countries and it's just a lot smaller than the UK plug. Um, I have a cable there. Oh, I also have the European one, which I believe that works in a lot of places out in Asia as well. So that just fits in there. That can go down there. Next, I have got my dual microphones in this little case, which I bought in Thailand just before I left. That can go in here. My plug, how I've still got it, I don't know. But this time I've actually taken it out of the case because it's just extra weights that I don't need. So that is going in there. I have my GoPro with my dive housing on it. And I'm taking a little clip this year as well because that's a lot smaller to take than my body one. And I just thought that that might be better. It's also um, a magnet as well. So that can go in. Little smoothie round. I have got another battery pack that can go in. I've got a, um, a battery charger, which is like a key ring for my Apple Watch. So you just pop that on there. So if you're going out for an evening or an overnight trip, it's just easy just to throw that in and you don't need the plug or anything like that. That can go in. Can't remember what I've put in here. Uh, There's just a little purse. So I've got my little bands to stop seasick net. I have a spare card in there as another small charger. And that's all I've got in there. These are my charcoal tablets as well. So they can go in there. They might end up in my big bag eventually, but they can go in there. I've got a small pad with different bits and pieces just in case I want to make notes that can just go in the side pocket because it's only small so that can slide down there and this year I've decided controversially not to take the case for my over the ear headphones because to be honest when I'm going through the airport or something like that or traveling they live around my neck so then I've just got this great big case in my bag. And when I'm at the hostel, it doesn't matter because they're not going to get squashed, just sat on my bag. So I've decided not to take the case. Remind me of this. If all of a sudden I go, oh no, my headphones have been squashed. But I think that it's the right move for me because it takes up a lot less space like that. And... I have my second phone, which is an old Apple iPhone 7, because sometimes you actually need to do verification for different things with your home SIM card. So I take this one because it's just easier to keep my UK SIM card in this one and then my other SIM card for Thailand or Malaysia or wherever I'm traveling in my other one while I'm out and about. So that's the reason that I take that. And a pair of sunglasses. They keep going there as well. So, well, okay, is it that? On the front here, you'll see that I've got several carabiners because they're always good. And also you can click your bag together which is just a little area of security 
I have one of these plugs on plugs, padlocks on here with a combination because I don't want to have to be thinking about where is my key for my padlock. So I remember the number. And then last but not least, on the back here, I've got a couple more carabiners. I have my Apple AirTag on the back. And on the back, this is where my laptop goes. So that for security, it can come out nice and easy. No problem. Just wanted to drop in here to say that because I was using it while I was filming the video, I didn't put it in, but I also have my tripod type selfie stick that goes in the tech bag as well. I'll head you back to the video now. <laughs> and that is my 13 litre pumpkin tech bag. So whenever I'm traveling, all my clothes and bits and pieces go in my large laptop underneath the bus or things like that. Whereas my um, tech bag, which has got all the stuff that I want to keep close to me, that is small enough to put like this underneath the footwell of the plane or on a little bus you can put it up on the top up on the bus so that is my tech bag do come and check out also i've got another video for my solo bum bag but that is now with the backpack tech bag video so i will see you soon